Hi, I'm the Keat Law Girl, Katie Levitt. Arizona LLC attorney Richard Keat gets asked lots of questions about forming and operating Arizona LLCs. And this video will answer the question, should I form an Arizona C corporation or an S corporation? And here's the answer. Arizona attorney Richard Keat forms for-profit corporations, non-profit corporations, limited liability companies, and limited partnerships. Over 2,700 of them in the last nine years. However, Rick does not form C corporations or S corporations because Arizona corporate law does not recognize C or S corporations. Those two terms describe one of four methods of federal income tax applicable to entities. Nobody forms S or C corporations in the United States. Instead, people form for-profit corporations, which are obsolete in Arizona except for limited circumstances, non-profit corporations, limited liability companies, which are the most popular entity in Arizona, limited partnerships, which are also obsolete in Arizona, except for limited circumstances, general partnerships, which are not recommended because every partner is 100% liable for everything that goes wrong, sole proprietorships, which are not recommended because again, the owner is 100% liable for everything that goes wrong, and lastly, business trusts, which are rarely used and not appropriate in Arizona. Before forming an entity, the first question is, in what state should you form the entity? The second question is, what type of entity should you form? And after you form the entity, the last question is, how should the entity be taxed for federal income tax purposes? If you form a corporation, it can be taxed two ways. The first is a C-Corp, which is the default method, and the second is an S-Corp. If the corporation is eligible to be an S-Corp and all of the owners sign and submit an IRS form 2553 before the deadline. But if you form a limited liability company, it can be taxed four ways. A C-Corp, an S-Corp, a partnership if it has two or more owners, and last, a sole proprietorship if it has one owner or a husband and wife owners who own the company as community property. One of the many reasons Arizonans are forming LLCs six and a half times more often than corporations is because of the four methods of tax available to the LLC versus the two methods of tax available to a corporation. Rick recommends that as soon as possible after forming your entity, but not later than 75 days, you take the time to talk to your tax advisor to determine which method of tax is best for you and the entity. You can find answers to many other frequently asked Arizona LLC questions at KeatLaw.com. Check back soon for more video questions and answers too. I'm the Keat Law Girl, Katie Levitt, and Richard Keats Legal Assistant. And if you have any other questions about LLCs, please email me at keatlawgirl at keatlaw.com. And we look forward to forming your Arizona Limited Liability Company.